Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is September 1st, and our hay is ready to harvest. So, yeah, our all of our fields are grown up, ready to harvest, and I have a jack-o'-lantern in front of my house. Uh, I didn't put that there. No, actually, I think some of the, the deco uh, automatically changes with the season, which is kind of neat, actually. Uh, all right, so there's nothing in the sales. I looked at this right before I started the recording. Uh, there's a nice little <clears throat> small case tractor, but we don't really need a small case tractor. And this is a sugar beet auger trailer, which obviously we don't need as well. So nothing in the sales. And uh, so let's check the contracts and see where we're at with those. Uh, so we have a couple fertilizing. As usual, we'll accept those straight up. More fertilizing. More fertilizing, more fertilizing. There we go. So it looks like this is going to be a fertilizing month. Just keep spamming the button a little bit longer. None of these are really super high pain, but they're still worth doing because, I mean, it's just so easy and quick uh, for us to do. Okay, so that does mean then that the hay cutting is going to be on October 1st, which I kind of thought it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, let's also look at our chickens. So I think we now have... Fully grown animals. So you are reproduction, you are reproduction, and you are reproduction. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, we'll have, um, we should have a nice little pile of eggs by uh, the end of the month and thereafter. Our greenhouses should be doing good on water and fertilizer. The water is starting to get down a little bit, but uh, I probably won't worry about that until next uh, next month. We'll see, though. We'll take a look at it again on October the, or I'm sorry, September 3rd and see how it's doing. Uh, also, remember, we will be harvesting our corn in October as well. So, OK, I guess uh, the the order for the day then is fertilizer contracts and then get started on our own hay. So let's jump in. Uh, we'll jump on the McCormick for the fertilizer. And get going on that. We're not going to make a ton of money, but we'll make some. Okay, so that gives us 26% uh, in the hopper. Let's look at these contracts again. So the biggest field is field 58 which is, where's 58? This is 57, 56, 54, 59. Why, why do I always have trouble finding 58? Or do I always have trouble? Maybe I don't normally, but I am now. 56, 57. Oh, it's right here. 58, 58. Okay. Um, <laughs> open your eyes. Okay, so that's the largest field. This one's a fairly decently sized field, but nothing too ginormous. Uh, eight's fairly good size. 34 is a little smaller. All right, so I'm thinking, let's see if we can get away with three bags of fertilizer plus what we already have uh, to do all these contracts. It's going to be probably fairly close, but... I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna just start at the at the smallest field, which is up in the northwest, and work my way down. So let's get this done.
close to mine. I was too much for him to handle. Well, of course he couldn't handle me, cause he's a loser. Yeah. Yes. All right. Boom. <laughs> I wasn't his kind of a Okay, right, guys, we are done with the fertilization. So let's get the spreader put away. And then it's time to mow our own hay on our greatly expanded fields. Well, not greatly, but expanded anyway. All right, so let's load the rest of this in, and then we'll empty it all out into one individual pallet. There we go. Um, let's give the spreader a little bit of a, a washing. I don't know if I've washed it in a while. And the tractor too, of course. Yeah, the spreader's a little bit dirty. I'd imagine in real life we would want to be getting inside the hopper and cleaning that out thoroughly too because fertilizer tends to be corrosive. Okay, so let's turn in our contracts. Where are we at right now? We're at 26,945, and we spent, what, about four grand or so on fertilizer or something like that? So now we're at 43,666. Nice. Nice little chunk of change there for a relatively simple work. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to mow our hay. And what we are going to do is we're going to rent the Pottinger mower that I love so much because I think it's just going to be worth worth it uh, cons with our larger hay fields. So that is this guy. I'm really hoping someday this comes on sale, um, but it's going to cost us 3800 bucks to lease, which, you know, that's not too bad, I guess. And we should have everything else we need to do this. So we're going to use the New Holland. Has a little extra horsepower. And we're also later on, we're going to release that same roller that I used and see if that works on grass. Oh, it's <laughs> the daggone things upside down again. That happened to us last time. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, I think it's just that we're probably not on super level ground here. So that's probably what it is. There we go. Okay. It, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't look so out of level that it should cause this to tip over, though. So I don't know. Uh yeah. So what was what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna. We're going to lease that other uh, roller again, that mod roller, to see if it works for metal rolling. And if it does, then we're, we're going to buy it, most likely buy it, uh, so we have it. Because it's not that expensive, but I, I don't want to actually buy it until I know for sure it's going to work as advertised. Okay. Okay. 
Let's get that up off the ground there. All right. Is it... Control Y is work mode. So we want to make sure this is in wind rowing mode. It is. Let's turn it on, lower it down, and cut some hay. One really nice thing about this mower is that it pulls the hay that, you know, outside of my boundary that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get with a smaller mower. I may have explained this to you guys before, but I learned that as long as the tractor is still on your land, if you, if you can reach out and grab it with an implement like we're doing here, then you can still get it. That's how that works. Okay, that takes care of the front fields. Let's head on back to the new fields and get started on those, and then we'll run over to the ones on the other side and finish those last. Am I going to clear those pallets? I'm not sure if we are or not. I probably better... No, not that. Hold these up, just to be on the safe side. We might have trouble getting across the bridge anyways now that I think about it. Anyways, all right, guys, well, we're going to go uh, do some time lapse uh, for the rest of this, and I will bring you back when we are completely finished harvesting our hay. Should be fun. Let's do this. stuck in the mud let's pack up a life baby and call it a night cause the longer we stay here the harder the fight i said hey yeah 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts i said hey the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get I said hey yeah 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 call it a star by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said hey
guys it's a wrap <laughs> see what i did there a wrap uh kill me anyway <laughs> uh okay so yeah that that didn't go too terribly bad um i don't the jury's kind of out i guess as to whether or not it's faster to use uh you know the big mower first and then come back and bail because what the way that i did it before was that i would bail and wrap at the same time but with a much smaller mower so you know a lot more passes it, it's it was easier to do it this way if for no other reason because then i didn't have to manage a baler and a mower at the same time you know so i think we're probably going to stick to doing it this way from now on so um let's get let's make sure our bale trailer's in good repair i uh, never have to wash this thing because it never gets dirty well actually it does have a little bit of dirt on it, doesn't it? I wonder if that's the dirt mod that's doing that, because before I installed that mod, this trailer never got dirty. So yeah, that might be the dirt mod that's doing that. 
So let's wash it up here. I'm not going to bother washing the New Holland because we still have rolling to do too. And let's just make sure this is in good repair. Um, oh yeah, it's in great condition, but we'll repair it anyways. 11 bucks. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is... Well, here, let me get this parked first. All right, so I want to... I want to do a couple of things here. We're going to... Uh, we're going to lease that roller again and see if it actually works on meadow, on grass. So let's do that first. Where are the rollers? Right here. So this is the one we use to soil roll, but it's supposed to work on both grass and soil. So let's lease it. It's only 725 bucks, so it's not incredibly expensive in case it doesn't work. Um, and I want to try something else, too. I want to lease a front loader bucket. Hmm, I wonder if a manure fork would work for what I want to try this. Yeah, I don't know. Let's lease this. 81 bucks, yeah. Because it might be that, oh, you know what? We don't need the, the mower any longer, so let's, Let's return that. It might be that we could use that bucket to pick up some of the loose hay, you know, that we that are in the corners that we can't get to. So I want to try that just kind of as an experiment to see if that actually works. And we're going to need to use the McCormick for that because it's the one with the front loader. Are there any lines for this? Nope. So it should work. Yeah, okay. So let's see if this works. I don't know if it will or not, but if it does, then it's a good solution for cleaning up all this loose hay that's always being a pain in the butt. No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem to work, at least not right there. Aw, oh, nuts. I was hoping that would work. Let's just try it one more time. You know, I I installed that rake mod, and I've been able to kind of get it to work to do this, but it's really weird, and it doesn't work consistently. Oh, that's working. It's probably because... Yeah, look at that. It actually picked it up. Okay. Maybe it's just because that other stuff is in uh, no man's territory or however you want to say it. Well, it's not... Yeah, okay. That grass is probably in no man's territory also. Okay, well, this is partially useful then. We should, should be able to grab all of this grass here, I'm thinking. Hmm. wonder why it picks up some of it and others it doesn't. There it goes. Maybe I wasn't, didn't have enough pressure on it or something. All right, we have 161 liters of grass in the bucket. Yeah. Yeah, we're in no man's land here. It is not going to pick it up. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Well, this isn't enough grass to shake a stick at, so I think what I'll do is 
let's just dump it right here and then maybe we can actually pick it up next time. I mean, yeah, I guess there's a little bit of grass there. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it there. And then the next time we come through, it should stay there. And then we'll just hit it with the baler that time. At least that's the theory anyway. So that probably makes this little bucket worth hanging on to. But I think what I would rather do is look on the mod hub to see if I can find a bucket with a little more capacity. Because this is only a thousand liter bucket. It's really small. I'm going to load up the small roller and get a worker going on that. And then I'll work with the larger roller. Assuming that it actually works. We'll have to see. You know, it would be so much faster for me just to throw actual fertilizer on these fields. Not... I mean, we have to pay for the fertilizer, but the time it would save, you know, if you take that into account, it might even be more economical to do that way. I'm not really sure how to measure that. All I can tell you is with this little roller, even before we added the new field, it takes quite a while. So, you know, I either have to do that or I have to pay for a worker to do it. I'll have to, I'll have to give that some consideration, I guess. Because with our fertilizer spreader, I mean, we could fertilize our entire fields in probably five minutes. <laughs> and then we're done, you know. Uh, whereas it's going to take, I'd say probably an hour and a half to two hours of real lifetime for me to, to roll the whole place. Well, at least with that roller, maybe not so much with this newer one. Let's get rid of this again. Yeah, it's always good to have a, a bucket for, for stuff, but I want to see if I can find one that's a little bit larger than that. Okay, back to the New Holland. Let's hook up to this guy. Um, oh yeah, we hook up on this end. The nice thing about the rolling, though, even though it takes time, it's like free fertilizer, you know? Well, not, we had, we had to buy the equipment, but it's still kind of like free fertilizer. <laughs> so, yeah, there is that. Okay, let's take this out to the new fields and see if it, in fact, will roll like it's supposed to. Like I've been told it will. I think I have a little spot that I missed over there. Uh, you know, seed-wise, but not that big of a deal, I guess. I might fix it at some point. All right, I think we're going to want probably to be right about here-ish, I'm guessing. All right, let's unfold this guy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it sure looks like it's rolling. Okay, let's just do this first strip here. And then we'll go into the map and just confirm that it's... Well, actually, we don't even need to do that. We just have to look at it. Okay, so this shows 50% fertilized. This shows 100% fertilized. Yep, it works. All right, fantastic. Then that means I'm probably going to purchase this thing. I mean, we've leased this one, so the next time I need to use it, I'll, I'll purchase it. All right, let's get rolling, rolling, rolling. I know, I've done that before. <laughs> but don't you like the Rawhide song? I like the Rawhide song. You gotta like the Rawhide song.
right, guys, that wasn't too bad, actually. Uh, using the worker to help like that, and uh, me on the big one, they on the, the little one. Uh, I didn't actually time it, but we definitely got this done in less than in a real time hour. Uh, I'd say it's probably 45 minutes, maybe. Not really sure. Uh, at least that's what it seemed like. So, yeah, that worked out pretty good, really. Can't, uh, can't complain too much about that. I still have to wonder, though. Um, I could probably fertilize all of my fields with one bag of furt. Um, and what does that cost again? 1820. And I could do it in five minutes. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, assuming, you know, we can do it in one with one bag of fertilizer in five minutes and not have to pay a worker to help that might be worth it it really might you know because time is is money in some senses of course uh but anyway i really like this roller um there's another mod um that's the same kind of brand as this this gootler uh, with rollers that might be a little even a little larger than this so I'm gonna look into that before I actually purchase but if the other one's not any different than this one I'll probably end up buying this one because this just really works well plus it you know as we learned now can do both soil rolling and metal rolling uh, so quite a versatile implement all right let's um go ahead and return this now And then we, <clears throat> we'll just go grab the McCormick and the other roller and get that put away. And I think the only other thing we have to do today, it's, it looks like it's going to start to rain, but we got all of our work done, so that's not a problem, is I do have I do have another pallet of honey that I want to move into the cellar, so we get, we'll get that done. And we could probably stand to maybe walk put some water in the greenhouses uh, we'll look at those because tomorrow well no not tomorrow um, October 1st is going to be a very very busy day for us that's going to be the third hay cutting and it's also going to be um, we'll also be able to cut our uh, or harvest I should say our corn and then prep the corn with a current cornfield and turn that into hay as well so yeah, lots of stuff to do. Let's uh, just touch up this tractor here, keep it in tip-top condition. Six hundred dollars to repair, not too bad, but I have been, you know, keeping it repaired all along. So I don't know. What do you guys? You let me know what you guys think about. Should I just um, spend eighteen hundred bucks on a bag of fertilizer and knock it out in five minutes? Uh, or should I use, you know, the the newer roller and the old roller with the AI to help me do it in about I'm I'm gonna say about 45 minutes. What would you do in my shoes? It's free, you know. Well, it'll be free once I buy the roller and it pays pays for itself, which wouldn't take too long. But you know, it just takes more more time. So, any hoozle. All right, you guys. Uh, let's take a look at the. Uh, what are we doing? We're looking at this. So the water is, I mean, it's not super low, but I think I'm going to top it off anyway so it's done and I don't have to mess with that. Well, actually, no, I'll think I'll, I'll do that on September 3rd. And we have another pallet of honey that I'm going to come and grab. Seems to me like there was maybe one other thing I needed to, or wanted to do uh, before I let you guys go, but I can't. I can't remember what it was. So I guess I'll let you guys go. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And uh, I will bring you back on September 3rd uh, to sell our produce as usual and our eggs. We should have a full um, complement of eggs. And then we'll sleep and go into October 1st. And lots of stuff will happen on October 1st. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye-bye.